First, let's find the key. How do we find it? Look at the key signature. There are one flat on B flat. To find the key name in flat, we have to go five steps off from the last flat. In here, we only have a one on B. So from B to going five step up, we count this one as a one first. Why? Because we need one finger anyway to play this note. So B, C, D, E, F. Key of F. Therefore, most often used chord in this song is F chord. F, A, C. This is F chord. Next, let's check left hand chords. In this song, there are many different types of chords. However, the most often played chord is F. We played this F chord 33 times out of 101. It means if we can play an F chord, and if we know when to play an F chord, and how to play an F chord, then one third of the song is done. Let's see how F chord was used in this song. First, it's played by broken chord. Broken chord means you play a chord one note at a time. So if it's F chord, you play it one note at a time instead of playing at the same time. So if it's a C chord, you play it one note at a time. If it's a G chord, that's how we play. That's the first way. Second, it's played in 1-5-3 pattern. In here, 1-5-3 means the note scale degree. So if it's F, the first one, and 5 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, literally you go up 5. And 3 means 1, 5, 3, the F chord, but this note played up high here. So to tell you just pattern how to play it. If it's a C chord, let's see, a C chord is like this. But 1, 5, 3 means you play 1, 5, and this missing 3 up here. It's really nice chord combinations. Instead of playing like this, you can play 1, 5, 3. Remember, this is really nice one. Now, the last pattern is played in 1, 5, 1, 2, 3. So 1, 5, and one, so it's gonna be the same up here and two, three. So instead of one, five, three, the difference one, five, one, two, three, and one, five, three is you just play it three or one, five, one, two, three. You're adding two more notes here. So if you know all these patterns, then you can play a whole entire song really well. This time, let's check chord symbol. I put chord's name on top of the music. If you see the letters, that's the chord name. Let's go over the first line. Do you see F? That means F chord. So F chord is this one. It will be either like this or one, five, one, or one, five, one, two, three but it will be within this pattern. What about next measure? Do you see the letter? No. Then what is the chord? You will play it F chord again. If there is no letters are written, then you will just keep playing the same chord until the next letter shows. What is the next letter? You will see C slash E on measure six. That means C chord. The first letter tells you which chord it is. So it's a C chord. But the slash after the letter tells you start with the E instead of C. So it can be C, E, G and play this missing C. Or you can play 
E, G, E, or it can be E, C, E, any type of combinations, but still it will be C, E, G, but you will start with the E. That's what that means. What about the next letter? D with a small M. What is this small M stands for? Minor. So if just letters show, then it means major. It's like first chord, F, means F major. But if you see a D with the small letter M, means D minor. So instead of major, you will play a minor. Then what about the following chord? A, small m, slash E. That means A minor chord, but you will start with the C instead of A. So E, C, E, and A. That's how you play. Got it? That's what the music symbol is for. Since we have learned the basic chord and the chord variation, how to play it, and called the simple, how to read it. Now let's try both hands together in slow tempo. At the beginning, we start left hand and F with right hand C, A, F chord, but breaking up. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and F, G, that's eighth note. You play it instead of this F, one more octave higher. And up to here, you have to push down the pedal. It's one pedal. Don't lift it up and change the pedal. Since it's same chord, you have to keep holding it. Do you see in the left hand, there are treble clap. That means from bass clap, to you have to move it up treble clap. So if you're looking at the note, it seems like it's going down, but it's not. It's a treble clap. The very first space is F, so it's in here instead of going down. So left hand comes up here and right hand A here. This is F chord too, but in here you can use same pedal, keep holding it, or you can lift it up. That's your choice. It depends on your taste. If you like a dreamy sound, then you can just keep holding it. If you want a crispy sound, change the pedal. I will go just keep holding it to make a dreamy sound. And the next one, left hand, C chord, but starting with the E. This time you have to change pedal. Why? Because it's a different chord. The next one is a D minor. So left hand comes down to D minor chord, the basic one. And Right hand, just shifting down to G to D. One, two, and then play it again. The next one is B flat, so left hand B flat, but one, five, one technique. The next one is F chord, but starting with A. So your A, bottom note, and then F is already here. G minor chord, so G one five one technique. And then C seven. After here, you have to keep change pedal every measure. Now left hand goes down to bass clap. Do you see little bass clap sign? It changed. So left goes down left hand and right hand stays the same place. Now here you see a lot of little lines. Oh, how do we count? That one, one, five, three. So instead of this middle note, you play an A here. So just remember. And then left hand, E, start with the E, even if it's a C chord. So E, C chord, and so it's C and E. Left hand again, D minor chord, but here D, A, F, one, five, three technique. And here is again A minor, but starting with the C. So 
Now, within this small measure, we switched three times. So you have to lift it up each time the chord changed. And now, second part coming. Melody line, but right hand plays an octave. So this part, start right hand only. And then if you can play it well, then add an octave. Left hand is actually easier because it's the same way. One, five, three, F chord, and C, but starting with E, and C is the same. And this missing three is on here. One, five, three, and D minor chord, D minor, and missing F here. One, five, three, and E minor chord, but starting with the C, when you have a slash, the middle note is the same. So changing chord position so that we can stay around instead of going all the way to C chord to A chord to D chord to D chord, you just stay around by changing one note position. That's what is slash for. So now let's go second part again, right hand active. right hand if you really want to play it active then practice right hand only how you do is don't lift it too high stay in the key as much as you can and then just leave it your hands as a set unit it's just like a machine don't change each time and then just 
going up and down because your active is always the same length. So if you want to set your hand and keep moving up and down, then you will not miss the note. Now let's move it on to the next part. Left hand, this time one, five, one, two, three technique is used. So C, but starting with the E, so E, C, E, G, C. That one is a little different. So just remember that one. And then the fingering will be one, a five, two, one, and you're crossing over two to G and go to C again. Thumb coming up. So it will be practice a couple of times. That one is hard. And then next one is D minor. One, Five, one, two, three, technique, and A minor, but starting with the C, so C, A minor, and this time lots of jump. Starting after that, you play the E, sing, missing E up here, and go to A. There are a couple of hard chords. The one is a C dash E, that one, and A minor dash C, this one. So practice only these two chords a couple of times, then the last thing is okay. Let's go slow, second part. One, and, two, and, three, and. Two, three, and after that right hand, C chord, but start with the E. Next one is D minor. And this is the hard chord. One, two, and B flat. Two, and three, and left hand, A, start with, and three, and G, and. Double means E and G. Play two notes at the same time. And two and three and and next one is D minor. Two and three and left hand up up up. Two really nice harmony here. That makes really dreamy sound. Flat, left hand, right hand is D, three, two, and three, and left hand is F chord, but start with the A, one, F, F, two, three, and, and G minor left hand, one, five, one technique, and seventh chord. Before the middle C. One and two and three. And this time the focusing is on right hand. Right hand plays chord. One, two, three. Same C, but bottom note going down and making really beautiful progression. Do you hear it? So just drop stating it each note. Let's try the same place. One, two, three. One, two, three. And C chord, left hand. Start C, but it's starting with E. And then right hand D minor chord, so F and A. But 
start with the C and right hand comes down. left hand A, D minor, 1-5, one, 1-2-3 one, technique, and switch to finger number 3 on right hand, so that you can go down one more note. 1-5, one, 1-2-3 one, here, left hand, left hand, 1-5-1 one, one this time. Exactly the same melody line, but you come down and repeat it. And left hand goes down again, active lower. So literally, you repeat the same thing, a lower sound. Let's go. F, one, five, one, two, three, pattern, two, and then left hand, right hand is coming down. One more note, and then one more go. And switch to four from 5 to 4 so that you have finger to go up. 5, 4, 3, and F and A, right hand, left hand, D minor. But 1, 5, 1, 2, 3 technique. And now right hand switch to 4 so that you have finger to go up. And left hand is a minor chord, but start with the C. And then after that, cross it over finger number two. And going down to D and left hand B flat chord. And right hand C and left hand A. Active higher instead of lower note. One and two and three and the rhythm goes slow. And two and three and and then step down just with finger number two, just moving like this. Lift it up and go. Little dot is end, so you have to go back to where it was. So B flat, that's actually seems like coming up, but it's going down. So it will be here, this F, just one below, then middle C. One and two and and C chord and two and, and again move down right hand and left hand D minor chord, but one five three technique. Trouble clap. That means you have to go off the trouble clap from here to upside and B flat. So you will go this note. One and two and three and so you 
just play a left and B flat chord, literally one, five, one. And the very last line is right hand C, left hand, F chord, but start with A, and then F comes later, and double the F. One, and two, and three, and, and right hand, D, F, B flat, left hand, G, one, five. And two, and, and five, seven. So left hand is a C and B flat. Now the right hand on G, do you see little things moving like this? That means just trill. So G, A, G, you play it. Play it fast. So, and then repeat the same note, left hand F chord. One, two, and one, five, three technique. And now you go up high. One, and two, and three, and right hand F, but since it's a B, you will play it just one skip down from that note. One, and two, and three, and the next note, I play a G with finger, left hand two, and right hand, G, A, C, F. That's how it goes. Very important tip is left hand. You go with one, five, one, that's basic one, or one, five, three, you play a missing one, or one, five, one, two, three. Remember these three patterns on the left hand. This is really good and useful technique when you play a chords.